January game releases are slim pickings, but I found four I think you might like to check out, and all will be available in the cloud in some way, shape or form. First up in January 13th is The Anacrusis, an early access game that will be available from Steam on your cloud PCs and also GeForce Now. This is a 4 player co-op first person shooter set aboard a massive starship. You can team up with your friends in what developer Stray Bombay describes as an infinitely replayable fight against alien hordes. Waves of aliens and bosses are generated by the AI driver and it's reported to have a level to suit everyone's skill. Classic sci-fi weapons like stasis and shield grenades are weight, along with a laser rifle that burns through foes like a hot knife through butter. Matter compilers spread throughout the game give you access to perks that you can change the way you play. These can be shared with all your teammates to help you survive the alien infestation. Next up we have God of War. I couldn't not include this mesmerising title in this list of upcoming games which is set to release on Steam January 14th. Although we most likely won't see it on any cloud gaming platforms out with PlayStation Now, we always have our cloud PCs to fall back on. Previous PlayStation games and PC have performed very well on the likes of Shadow and Maximum settings, so it's fair to assume God of War will be the same. God of War and PC will have Nvidia DLSS and Reflex support for the best possible performance, and you'll be happy to know it also have 21x9 ultra widescreen support. Now you have no reason not to take control of Kratos on his latest journey as mentor and protector of his son Atreus. A pantheon of creatures, monsters and gods are just waiting to be conquered in this modern day masterpiece. January 20th ushers in the latest first person tactical shooter from Ubisoft, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction. Assemble your elite team of Rainbow Six operators to launch incursions into the unpredictable containment zones and discover the mysteries behind a lethal alien threat called the Arcanes. Knowledge, cooperation and a tactical approach are your best weapons. Band together and put everything on the line as you take on an unknown enemy. Now we haven't seen a lot of gameplay and the reports coming from those who have tested the game aren't exactly inspiring, so probably best to head in with low expectations in this one folks. Unlike God of War, you have a wide range of places to play. This title will be available on Google Stadia, Nvidia GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Amazon Luna via the Ubisoft channel and Cloud PCs. Rainbow Six Extraction will support RTX and DLSS at launch, but those features will only be available on GeForce Now and a Cloud PC running with a supported GPU spec. The final game on today's list is Immortal Online 2. First and foremost, I will advise that by purchasing this game on Steam for £30.99 only gets you access to it throughout its early access period which is basically like buying into a closed beta test. Afterwards, you will have to maintain a monthly subscription which they haven't yet released the prices of but they say there will be several options. According to their website, the game is set to release on January 25th. So now you know how it's going down and what about the game itself? Well, it's said to offer a massive open world with a complex crafting system with millions of combinations, intense skill based first person melee, mounted, arranged and magic combat with full loot, deep character customization, and an open skill system with over 600 skills and no character levels. Mortal Online 2 is coming to GeForce now this month and will also be playable all via your cloud PCs. The final talking point I'd like to mention about this game is that the developer, Star Vault, has just been awarded the esteemed Epic Mega Grant. Awarded by Epic Games, this substantial grant will support Star Vault's MMORPG in its next phases, including the transition to Unreal Engine 5. As I said, slim pickings for January, but February isn't too far away and is looking likely to be a great month for us gamers. Check back in later to see which new releases make the cut for February. Thanks for watching folks, let us know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you all again soon. Stay safe.